Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Romy and if you are new here, hello, welcome. Today, I'm still slightly throaty. I fancied doing a little experiment. So it came to me while I was doing the um, decluttering my makeup palettes that pretty much every makeup palette that I have contains a black eyeshadow and I hardly ever use the black eyeshadows. I don't hardly ever use them. Just mainly because, I don't know, probably because I've got so many. I probably dip into the black in that palette but I'm never going to use all of these black eyeshadows ever. Never going to use them all up. Um, I occasionally use a black eyeshadow, obviously, just to deepen an eye look, um, but it's just very minimal. On my last Wednesday's eye look, I did use black, but generally when you're doing a whole black smoky eye, to get it as dark and deep as what you want it, you normally have to put a eye primer, um, an eye base down of black so the best thing would be like I did um, is to put a gel eyeliner underneath as well um, I occasionally also use a black eyeshadow to do a softer um, eyeliner so the whole purpose of this video might be quite lame is I wanted to try and test each swatch each eyeshadow each of the black eyeshadows and see which one is the the best really out of my collection out of what I've got. A lot of my palettes are Morphe so I'm obviously not going to swatch every single black in every single Morphe palette so instead what I did was I sectioned out the Morphe collaboration palettes which is the James Charles, the Jaclyn Hill and then I've got the, what is it, 39A palette and then I've just got 35F and then I've got one of their little ones, the 12P I think it is. Um, and then I've got a Violet Voss one, a Urban Decay, a Too Faced, Kat Von D, Sleek, BH Cosmetics, um, so a nice little selection and we're going to see which one performs the best. I will do a finger swatch and should I do a, and I'll do a little brush swatch as well and see how it performs with a brush. So the first one is the Sleek Eye Divine Storm Palette and this is the shade blackout so I will do it exactly the same I'll just get these these are quite hard to get my finger in switch it around get some of my finger can you see that and swipe then brush two little swipes let's get a wipe ready because this is going to be messy so the next one that we are going to use is the Kat Von D shade and light and this is obviously the black shade next is the Too Faced Semi Sweet in Licorice. That does have a teeny tiny tiny bit of sparkle in it. Didn't realise that actually. It doesn't look like that in the palette. The brush swatch didn't really pick up much of the sparkle but the finger swatch did. Next is the Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay in the shade Blackout again. Wow. That's a nice black. Next is the Violet Voss and Nicole Concilio palette. And this is in the shade Renegade. 
Next is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I've, oh, I've not even opened this. I'm actually quite surprised with that one. That one is more of a consistent, quite a nice, quite a nice black actually. The Morphe 12P palette. This is like a rainbow palette, but it has obviously got a black in it. Ooh. It's quite nice black. Next is the Morphe 35F palette. This is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette in the shade Abyss. Thirty nine A in Muse. Okay, this is the James Charles and Morphe palette in Spooky. I just have to move it out of the way because I've got to lean forward. <laughs> The very, very last one, thank goodness, because I don't have enough room, is the Too Faced um, Bordeaux Eyes, and this is called French Tickler. It has got a teeny bit of gold sparkle. That one's got a little bit of gold sparkle in it, as you can see but that one is pretty nice. Okay, so here they are, all swatched on my arm. And do you know what? There isn't actually that much of a difference, I don't think, really. Obviously, some of the ones that I did at the very beginning, um, I think the worst was probably the Kat Von D. The Urban Decay ones, all of that they all performed pretty well they all performed pretty much the same some of them slightly more patchy the ones up here so spooky the um two face was really good this is um the 30 9a one was really good so the morphe ones were pretty good we don't need 3000 blacks in our makeup collection Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye.